In this video, we will build a chat app using Laravel and Pusher. Before we start building the app, I would like to remind you that this video can be combined with other videos. So if you want to use Laravel with any of these front-end technologies, I provided some links in the description of this video. The combinations are required, so if you want to build the chat app, you have to pick one of these front-ends. Now let's build the backend. So let's create the project. So I will create a new Laravel project using the composer command and I'll call the project Laravel chat. So let's wait till it's completed. So everything is ready. I will open now the project with my ID. I'm using PHP storm here and this is our app. So to run this app, simply run php artisan serve. So this will run our app on port 8000 and uh, I will use Postman to test uh, this uh, request. So make sure to install uh, Postman. So HTTP localhost port 8000. Uh, this uh, should be our app. So this is our app. Uh, it's uh, running fine. Now let's uh, create one route. So this will be a simple uh, chat app. To create a route, I'll open a new tab and run PHP artisan make controller chat controller. And uh, we have our chat controller here and I will create only one method message and this uh, will have a request as a parameter and uh, for the moment let's return an empty array here and uh, I will go to the routes API and let's add our API route here so it's a route a post request to messages and uh, this will call our chat controller class and uh, the method that we will call is message so that's it this is the only method uh, that uh, we need and uh, we can send a post request here to localhost port 8000 slash api slash uh, messages here messages let's send this request and we are returning an empty array so uh, this is working fine. Now we need to connect with Pusher. So we need to send messages uh, and they need to be asynchronous. So we have to use a service like Pusher. So there is a free version, the Sandbox version, which uh, I will use. And uh, you should uh, create your own uh, account here. I will sign in now. I'm in the dashboard now and uh, you need to create a channel. So I created uh, my channel. Let's go there and uh, click go to get, get started. So uh, here uh, is provided some code that uh, we need to use in our front end and in our back end. So in our back end, we need to use Laravel and uh, we need to use these commands. So first I'll copy this and uh, we need to install this uh, package. So uh, before I install it, we need to add the version five here since uh, the other versions will throw an error. So I'll add here this version. So I will use it like this. So we installed uh, this uh, pusher. Now we need to add these uh, credentials, which I will copy and uh, I will add them to the env file. So here we have some helpers, so we need to paste them here. So these are my ID, key and secret. Don't use my keys here because I will change them after I finish uh, this tutorial. So you should uh, use your own keys. Cluster is EU, so this is a cluster. I have to paste it here and uh, use TLS should be true. So this by default is set to true 
if we go to broadcasting here the use TLS is set to true so uh, this is uh, added and everything is correct uh, we need also one other configuration to change which is uh, the broadcast driver should be pusher not log so that should be changed also and uh, we need to create an event now so let's create the event php artisan make event i'll call it message so so the file will be created inside the events uh, directory and uh, here we have uh, the message and uh, we need to implement an interface here so implements should broadcast so this is uh, required in order to send events and uh, i will make some uh, other changes here so broadcast on uh, we need the channel which uh, we can write it like this so the name will be chat or we can write it as an array so this is also acceptable so i will put it like this and uh, we need also another function which is uh, broadcast as and this needs to be message so these are the uh, channel so the channel is called chat and uh, the message will be called message uh, we need one last thing which is the uh, actual message so we need to add here uh, i will add public so uh, we can add the message like this but i will use the uh, php8 syntax so we can add the message like this public message and uh, we will add the message like this and we can add it this message is equal to message but uh, i will use the php8 syntax and to use php8 syntax first make sure it is installed in your machine and second uh, you have to remove this part and uh, i'm using php8 here and uh, i'll go back to the message and i will add the message like this so i'll remove this code and i will add public uh, string message so this is a uh, shorter and uh, it uh, will do the same thing as before if you don't have php 8 installed uh, you should uh, use it the old way so uh, we need the message we need also the username so public string username and that's it for our uh, class here and we have to use it to our chat controller here here we will simply call event new message and we need to pass uh, the username and uh, the message so we will get them from the request so request input username and request input message and that's it this is our app now if we send uh, again this request we need also to set uh, the username and the message so username should be john and the message is hi let's send this request and uh, if you have this problem is uh, the problem is the version i'm not sure why it uh, had f the version 5.0.0 so i will the right version is is 5.0.3 let me restart also the server and now it's working fine so this means that uh, we sent the event to pusher and if we go to the overview here 
we have one connection and we send two messages. So uh, that's it for this uh, backend app. If you want to build a chat, you have to build also the front end. So in order to consume this request, make sure to pick a front end and uh, you will build the chat. So this is our tutorial. This is the connection with Pusher and uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.